had no idea what to expect sitting down. I wasn't involved in the making of the film. I didn't direct it, I didn't write it. I'm just a fanboy. So I'm in a dark theater, the movie starts. The machine sent a Terminator back to the time before the war to kill my mother, Sarah Connor. And I start to see things I recognize. It's being very respectful of the first two films. Nice night for a walk, eh? Your clothes, give them to me, now. And then all of a sudden, it just swerves. I've been waiting for you. And now I'm going on a journey. I feel like the franchise has been reinvigorated, like this is a renaissance. Everything's changed. If you look at why the films became classics, they had characters that you like. The Terminator. It is nice to meet you. I've been trying to teach him to blend in. I know it needs work. The new film, which in my mind I think of as the third film, we see Arnold take the character even farther. Everybody responds to Sarah Connor. Nice try. For women, I think she represents a kind of empowerment. And yet there's a vulnerability there because that strength comes at a price. John. Hi, Mom. How can you be here? We went from, in the first film, the Terminator being the worst badass in history, to in the second film, him being almost a father figure. What are you doing? John! The idea of taking John Connor and flipping him to the bad guy. What have they done to my son? Survival is what you taught me. It's pretty cool, because you got to riff against expectation. It's all about the twists. I'm not machine, not man, I'm more. If you like the Terminator films... Run! I'll be back. You're going to love this movie.